going on everyone? I know your first thought is, wow, you look amazing. And that's sarcasm. Because between being a husband, a father, working a full-time job, selling computers on the side and doing these videos, every single day I wake up, I look like I drank from the wrong grail. Now for some of you younger viewers, if you don't get that movie reference, I'm sorry, you have terrible parents who don't love you. So pause this right now, go find out why they don't love you, sit down and watch Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I'm just kidding, I'm sure they're great. But enough chit chat. Depending on what I put as the thumbnail for this video, which I'm not even sure which one I'm going to put yet, you might already know what's behind me here. This is a case unboxing. Now, this is a wild case um, that I saw a little bit about online and I thought this is gonna be crazy to do a build in. So first off, I ordered it on Newegg and it came in this massive Amazon box. Get rid of this here. Ready for the big reveal? Ta-da! It's however you pronounce K-E-D-I-R-E-S. That's the case. Now they have several different models and this one is that wild one with open concept, multi-fans, all of that. Um, I have no idea how this unboxing is going to go. I saw some reviews that say some of the, uh, the glass panels come in broken. I have no idea what the build is going to be like, but let's get into it. So first off, good size box for a good size case, and it is completely plastic wrapped. It says fragile on here, which didn't do any good when they were shipping it because they put it in that giant box. All right, let's see what we've got. Now this is like, like vacuum sealed or something. It's, I mean, I guess if it's raining and they leave it on your doorstep, that's good. I think this is the top. Yep, the side says gaming computer case. Any case could be a gaming computer case, case if you game on it. However, sellers online like Facebook Marketplace that have an old Dell without a graphic card in it and they say, gaming computer, all you need to do is enter a graphic card. Screw you, you terrible people. You don't have to game on this if you just want something fancy while you send emails. All right. Styrofoam, styrofoam wedge. Uh, the wedge is because the case actually slants. Computer case installation manual. All right, I think we can just go straight up, maybe. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, all right. A lot of extra plastic. Bring the camera down a bit. All right, I'm gonna be out of frame for a second, but that's all right, you don't need to see this face. You need to see this face. So, let's start at the front. Lots of extra plastic, like I said. However, this is the front of your case. On the front, you have one, two, three pre-installed fans, adjustable RGB, of course. Uh, down here, it looks like you have, it's either this is your power button, or this is your power button. Not sure which yet, haven't looked at the uh, manual. USB 3.0, regular USB, headphone and mic jacks, nothing labeled, nice clean look, black and white. Um, so far, so good, I'd say. Across the top, you have two more fans, so we're talking about intake and then exhaust out the top. Now, this is your primary side here, looking in at your components. So there are two fans mounted here, uh, and for the record, those are, there might be an eighth of an inch from the fans to the glass. These are purely aesthetic. These will not be drawing any air in. Uh, they might help movement a little bit, but this is just this is just for lights. This is for aesthetics. This is not for cooling. Tempered glass panels, plastic on both sides. Here's the back of the case. IO shield will go here. Guess just vents and grating. This is your remote 
for the fans. The fans are branded for this company, so they're not third party in comparison to this case. You have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven bays, and then your power supply mount down here. I'm not sure, looking at this, how this power supply is gonna mount. Don't see any pads or anything on here, so I'm not sure if there's gonna be any vibration or anything like that, but we are gonna end up doing a build. Here's the rear side panel. This has the RGB controller. You can see it mounted down here with all the cables. Oh, that's gonna be a mess and a pain to work and hide. Um, there is a box right here. I believe some of your slack is meant to go in here just to try to hide cables, but the biggest thing with building in cases like this, the hardest thing is always making sure that you have good cable management. Um, it looks like we have um, an SSD drive here, or bay rather to mount and uh, your, your standard hard drive here. Um, and I believe that we have to get those in before we mount the rest of the components uh, because they're gonna screw in from the other side. Uh, we'll find that out when we do our build. Rolling this back, you can see the base. It actually has branding cut into this. Metal base, metal case, glass panels. Again, I don't know if this is power or reset. Maybe we get to choose, uh, but it does have small rubber feet. So I'm happy to see that everything came intact. Um, the reviews, obviously just looking at it, it is an interesting case. Three intake fans, two exhaust, two that do nothing but light stuff up. Uh, very open concept, you can see right through it. The reviews online on uh, Newegg, not stellar for this case. Difficult to build in. Um, one of the things I saw also some components coming in either broken like uh, the panels or missing like uh, the RGB controller and that just intrigued me more because I have a system it's a it's an eighth gen Intel system that I'm gonna be doing a build with in this case because the white and black here uh, is going to match the motherboard um, and I thought this is this is an opportunity to do something really different and really fun with this case so yeah so like I mentioned earlier, there will be a separate build video for this case and uh, we'll talk about how difficult it is to build, what it looks like as a finished product, uh, but for right now, as far as the unboxing, this is what you get. The size overall, not bad. Uh, depending on when the video for my wife's computer goes up, her case, you could put this case inside her case. Her case is nuts, it's from Thermal Take. it's insane. Um, but this, obviously you're not putting an optical drive in or anything. Um, this looks like space-wise a decent layout. But again, I won't know till I actually get inside and start working on it. So thank you for taking a minute, checking this out. This is definitely one of the weirder cases that I've unboxed and that I'm gonna work with. Uh, but I'm really looking forward to it. Uh, once I get all the plastic taken off and this thing looks a lot prettier. I'm not doing it yet because I'm not ready to work on it, but I will be soon. But yeah, so this is, this is wild. Do you have this case? Do you have a case like this? Are you interested in doing an open concept build like this? By the way, just wanted to say, these fans, no guards. You can stick your fingers right through. So yeah, it, uh, it's gonna present its challenges, but let me know what your interest is in cases like this. If you just like seeing them, if you like building them, if you like the style, you know, why are you here today? Lastly, the channel is getting a little popular. I'm very thankful for everyone who's come by. Uh, so please like and subscribe. If you find these fun, uh, it really helps us grow and you know gives me more time to do projects like this. So just a quick like, subscribe. I know it's scary. Trust me, it's more afraid of you than you are of it. All right, that's it. I got a lot of other stuff to do. So I will catch you all again very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.